Do you want to learn Revit? Or you need training material for your business? Join thousands of users and download the Revit Pure Basics Learning Package. It is the most fun and efficient way to learn Revit. It contains an ebook, video tutorials, a template, and an exercise project. Learn more at revitpure.com basics or check the link in the description below. Support can be added to handrail families. In the railing type properties, click on the three small dots next to the handrail type. You will access the handrail properties. Scroll down to supports. First, you have access to a support family and type. Next, you have access to five layout options that are going to be explained in this video. There are also other parameters called spacing, justification, and number, which might be available or not depending on the option you have selected for layout. Let's go through the five layout options. The first one is called fixed distance. Supports will always have the same distance from one another. This dimension value is using the diagonal distance between supports, not the horizontal one. When using this layout option, you have access to the justification option. In this case, it is set to center. We'll try to modify some parameters to see what happens. First, let's change the value to 1000 millimeters. Next, let's try to switch the justification to begin which means the first support will be at the bottom of the stairs. The second option is called Align with Post. For this option to properly work, you need to have a top rail activated in your railing type. As you can see, the supports will be aligned to the posts. To create posts in this railing, we have to create multiple segments with the purple boundary lines. At each segment intersection, a post with a matching support will be created. To move the post and support, you will have to adjust the position of the segment line. The next option is pretty simple. It is called fixed number. You specify how many supports you want to use in your railing. Let's try to change the number of supports to 10 instead of 7. This option isn't used very often. The next one is called Maximum Spacing. With this option, there will always be a support at the beginning and end of the railing. The others will be equally divided to never exceed the value specified. In this example, we modify the spacing value from 1000 to 900. The Minimum Spacing Layout option is similar to the previous one. It will make sure to never go below a spacing value of your choice. In this case, we use a value of 1000 millimeters. See what happens when you change a value to 1300 millimeters. Although all the options show supports that are automatically placed, it is possible to unpin a support and manually move it, just like in this example. You can click on the reset railing button to go back to the original position. In this example, we have walls with different distance from the handrail. Some supports are not properly placed and are not reaching the wall. There is an easy fix for that issue. Select the support and unpin it. Then adjust the hand clearance value in the instance properties of the railing. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and check out the basics learning package.